place that today we decided to take a trip out to Montezuma Saloo. Right now we're entering Belden's Landing, which has got a launch ramp where we're going to put in the boat. And then we're going to go hunt down some big stripers. Got a nice high tide going on right now. Should be turning around going out. Okay, here we are. As you can see, there's Belden's Landing. There's quite a few cars out here. Decided to go hunt down some dinos or stripers also. Now we're getting into the lot. Right there's where you pay your fee. There's all the parking spots and then there is the launch ramp. And that's where we'll be putting in the boat. And uh, after that, Hopefully we're going to get fishy. Okay, we're on our way. We're going to Joyce Island. Smaller water, hopefully a little warmer. More active stripers. We'll find out. We can go catch our bait, so we're going to show you how to use the split tail, what we use, how to use it, and where to catch it, hopefully. You can't always catch them where you might think you can catch them. Or golf fishing. Sometimes they don't fight. So hopefully we'll be back. We're going to enter Joyce Island in just a couple minutes here. Okay, we've now entered Joyce Island. So, uh, also known as a uh, Hunter's Cut. So. Oh, wait, not Hunter's Cut. Fisherman's Cut, excuse me. The slough will take you to Susan Slough. Uh, well, we'll be back. Okay, we're going underneath the Joyce Island Bridge. Okay, we've arrived at one of our spots, so uh, we're going to stop here, try and catch some live bait. We'll show you what we're doing and how we do it. And, uh, we're in Fisherman's Cut, like I said earlier. And uh, this little slough right here on the is Ducks, Ducks and Lee Water. They're still here, so uh, this is not one of them. So. Uh, we've did well here before, so we're going to give it a whirl again. Like I said, first we've got to catch our bait, and then uh, hopefully we'll be back with some fish. So we'll show, show you what we're going to do in just a second here on the bait setup. Alright, today we're going striper fishing, but first I'm going to try to catch some bait, try to catch some split tail. What I use to do that is just a little rod, this happens to be a four foot eight little ugly stick got my little reel on it with some three pound test real light line couple of split shots real simple and then I got my little hook little egg hook right there teeny guy what I'll do with that is I'll get a regular night crawler and I'll cut a little piece off just enough to go onto that hook Thread it right on through. And there we go. We've got a little piece of night crawler on there. Now that's going to be good enough for him to bite and hopefully get in his mouth good and I can set the hook on him. Now where I go, I tend to go towards the little saloos off a main saloo. Those kind of held more bait fish it seems so they can run and hide in there and get out of that strong current or whatnot. So I'll be fishing around there. And hopefully, I can get some split tail to show you. Okay, this spot did not pay off for bait, so we have to move on now. So we're going to go further down uh, Fisherman's Cut here. So uh, Again, a uh, little side saloos next to the bank, and even in the middle, you can catch the split tail. I mean, you just got to be in the right waters, too, helps. I like that brackish water. Teeny bit of salt here, not much. Not very salty now because we've had no rain for a, quite a while, so everything's kind of clear right here. So, um, well, we're gonna mosey down the slough and see what happens. So, we'll okay, just a quick note: um, if you do go in the slough, stay in the middle. 
um, for some weird reason, reason a cement piling right there. Uh, kind of close to the bank, but if you were cruising along the bank, you could hit it. Uh, it is covered up on a high tide. Um, well, you can see that people have hit it in the past, for that matter. Well, just thought it was worth noting. Um, it's kind of scary, actually. Nighttime. Well, all I Okay, we got a little excited and forgot to film our catch, but we got a couple of split tail, a big guy and a little guy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish over there, so I'm going to make it easy and just drop my bait off on the other side. So I ain't got to throw it out and slap, kill, stun the fish. It's much better, so just straighten her out here. Right over here, right to where I'm in the middle, and me. Again, another cement pillar. That one's tucked in the bank, though. Drop her on off. Okay. There she goes, right to the bottom. Say about 15 feet here. Okay. I got one out right there. So I didn't rock And I'll put this one out. And he's got loose drag, by the way. Right now, yeah, my drag yeah, is loose until right I get yeah. parked. And then I will put it on the fish alarm. So I got one over there. Current strong, it took it way further than I thought. Yeah, you can feel a pull here. Montezuma that way. Susun Salu that way. We're just at a little cut here. Uh, and these little cuts tend to hold bait, so. And then, there we go. Dropping down the other one. Right there. There she goes. Hit the bottom. Got on free spool. Got the trolling motor in reverse. I'm taking her back to the spot where I'm going to park, where I'm going to sit and wait. Got a big bass to come by. Right in front of here will do. Now nice it, smooth spot. It's late January, so the bite ain't real hot right now. You know, January bite is kind of a slow bite, so um, that's why we're using bait. Uh, they don't want to chase no lure right now. Water's too cold. Okay. So, uh, like I said, we're going to fish with two split tail for stripers. And then again, we're going to set up a couple more uh, bait catching rods with some worms and get out there and try and catch uh, another split tail yeah. each. So two more split tail, we'll have four, which is legal. You're only allowed two per person. I've mentioned that before, but it's always good to keep mentioning. And you can never travel with them. they got to be caught in the waters that you use them in. So just letting you know. Well, we're going to throw out our bait rods and maybe uh, when the clickers will start ripping and uh, we can haul our fish on. So. Sounds good. Just got to wait for that bass to come by. Hopefully we'll be back with some nice stripers. Kind of try it out. Okay, he's putting on a fresh piece of worm and we have found if you freshen up the worm, you get a lot more bites. Yeah. Uh, once they tend to get that mud out of there, out of the worm and it's just skin they leave it alone I don't know they like that dirt that's what made me buy a bang night crawler <laughs> see if it enhances uh, the bite when the worm gets all used up sometimes you get low on worms They're just a little ugly stick like you were trout fishing almost, crappie. Uh, split tail do have small mouths, so. Well, hopefully we'll be back with either the bait or a fish, because we do have uh, 
two striper rods would fade out right now. Again, I can't stress enough, fresh bait is a ticket. We were getting no bites, so we're both going to reel in and put on a new piece of worm. So that tends to help. Okay, we've had to relocate. We weren't catching no bait. We weren't catching no stripers, so we moved down. Um, the last slew I called off is uh, duck slew. Well, I was incorrect. It's mallard slew one, and this is number two. So again, a good little cut. More ways than one because we're in fisherman's cut, and Susan slew is right around the corner basically now. Those eucalyptus trees you see over that way. Well, we're gonna drop our splitties out here and then we're gonna throw out a couple more bait rods so we can get two more split tail. Well, been kinda slow, but what can you do? Now that is fishing. Okay, we've relocated again. So now we're at the Montezuma side, the mouth of a fisherman's cut. Again, two split tail out and two bait rods. So, uh, I did have a bite that I just missed, so maybe we'll get some splitties here and throw those out. But so far, not, not the best fishing day. Hopefully we'll be back with the fish sooner or later. Okay, we've hooked something up. Hoping That's it's a big split tail, oh, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It's a nice guy. Okay, it's a good one. So, I'm gonna get down there and get him. So hopefully we'll be back and we'll show you the fish. Alright, we got him in. And there's that flopper. Nice size split tail. <laughs> Got wrapped up in it. Beautiful one. Uh, here's the split tail, and this is what I'm talking about a very small mouth, and that's why we're using like trout size hooks. Mm hmm. Look how shiny that is. That was a nice, fresh guy right yeah. there. I'm gonna hook him up. Oh, yeah, we're gonna put him out and see. See what he does. Hopefully he does his job. Mm -hmm. but, uh, we'll hook this up and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to show you our rig and how we hook up this bait. Okay. First thing he's going to do, run that bottom hook through the top of the back by the head of the split tail. And then we got another hook, it's a mooching rig now. And where does it go? Right by the back end of the tail of the fish. There we go, it's hooked up. That way, it's on that rig, it can swim around freely. It look just alive and as good as it did before we caught it. It's okay. alive alright. It's a kicker, that's for sure. That's what we like. Nice healthy guy. A lot of movement out there, seems to get a lot more strikes from a striper. It seems to agitate it more when the fish is out there swimming around, teasing it, so it's a nice fresh live guy. And now the next step is to what? I, I'm just gonna lob it out there. You don't have to be out in the middle. Those oh, big yeah. stripers, they're cruising these banks. They're looking for all food. over. They're looking yeah. for this guy right here actually. Mm -hmm. That's their favorite food. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I gotta kind of lob this over there somewhere. And that's, that's good enough. Oh, yeah. Only like 15 Perfect. feet from the boat, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. And of course, you put the clicker on. Here, if something starts to take the bait. And, uh,. Drag off here, so again, just kind of setting it somewhere in the boat, somewhat stable. Always check your drag. Big striper can pull in your rod instantly, and it's over with. 
usually. All right, now we just gotta wait for that bite. Next we'll time back. you see us, hopefully you'll be with a nice bass. Okay, John hooked up, so. Whoa. We, ooh. Splitzilla? Is that what we got there? Battling hard now. Dang. We forgot the net today, so we're not doing good. We did oh, this spur. Oh, wow. Very nice splitty. Look at the size oh, of yeah. that pig. Well, she's going out. Mm -hmm. Just got to play her out. Looks like she's pinned. No net, so uh, good luck. There it is. Ooh, almost all the way down. I have to get some hemostats for this guy. Yeah, and we do carry him for these exactly occasions. that. Uh, eh, eh. Whoa, they're tough little guys. Just set them down. Yep. Yeah. They try not to kill that, yeah, you know, I'm trying ideally. To take the... yeah. Oh, came out good. Okay, oh, cool. there's blood. So that's not good. Mm. Oh, well. So, I'm going to have to toss her out and see what I can do. Hopefully okay. she'll live. We'll hook her up and uh, hopefully we'll be back with the fish, huh? Yeah. And by the way, I just realized you took off your jacket. Nice shirt. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Rob mobbing it. Now we're gonna get one. Yeah. Right on. All we'll right. be back. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Yeah, they can only do that a couple times without hurting yeah, the fish, the by the way. Yeah, and we normally don't do it like this. But we already had two out, so we have to catch two. Again, Montezuma Slew's just right there, literally. Well, hopefully we're going to pick up a striper. This is what this is all about. Uh, people have been asking about the split tail setup, so we thought we'd do that again. Um, hopefully it helps you out. But uh, There's not a whole lot to it. There really ain't. And now it's a waiting game. So hopefully we'll be back with a big striper. Yeah, sounds good. Got that bass in. Okay, it was 44 inches. Lost my bait though. Yeah. So we're gonna release this. Yeah. Hopefully it, whoa. Might have to nurse it a little bit. That's at least 30 something pounds. <laughs> oh, this one's going off now. Oh. We got another fish on, so we gotta go. Here's the release of this fish. <laughs> oh, we didn't. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. That's better than I thought, in fact. That looks oh, good. Barely bogoed. Oh, yeah, you gotta grip him good with those. Oh, yeah, the tip of his side of his lip is real thin. Okay. Well, we gotta get the bait back and then uh, we'll be right back. We're going to try and release this fish and yeah. of course take a picture too. So we'll be right back. All right. Okay, there's Jonathan's fish. We uh, approximate to be 18 pounds, huh? Yeah, that's what I'd say. That's a good looking fish. So we're going to release it and uh, Hopefully we'll be back with another one. Sounds good to me. Whoa! Oh, yeah, flip her up. Swallowed the hook anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's that's an 18 pounder. That, that, that that's a nice fish. That's that more than right 15. Here, man. Yeah. Oh man. That's creeping close to 20. You know that? Yeah. I'd Feels say, it. huh? It looks fat, man. Yeah. Then, okay, there we, we go. will be back though, huh? Yes, we will with we? another one. There you go. Oh, beautiful, Jonathan! Beautiful. <laughs> there he goes. 
We have another at least 25 pounder, and he has his bait again. Damn, now yeah. this one's a little bigger, Mitch. Oh, he's oh one. no, yeah, he is bigger, boy. Let's go. Let's go, Brendan. We're have to cut this off for right now, huh? Yeah. We'll be back in a minute. We'll be back. Okay, we're back again with Jonathan's yeah. second, his keeper. Swallowed the bait. That, yeah. That's not good. Okay, well, um, we're releasing, but this one swallowed the bait, so this might go to our friend who loves yeah. fish. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Like I said, uh, let it rest and, and bit my thumb a couple yeah, times. Yeah, you now know that rule. Kick, so yeah. I think it's ready to go, so I'm gonna give it a little push off and. Hopefully it just swims off. That would be ideal. Okay, here we go. Yeah. yeah. 